Um, okay, my name is William Austin Jefferson Hatfadden. Most people call me AJ because of my two middle names, Austin Jefferson. I'm in the ninth grade at OW, oh, Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. Um, it's in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Um, and I've been visually impaired for four years. It started off kind of rough, but I got better at it. Um, Gaining yeah, friends was kind of hard, you know, after losing my sight, but, you know, I do, I mean, I gain more friends. I gain friends who, we have something in common, we have visual impairments. You never know what someone has until you have it, like, when I first wore glasses, I, I never saw anyone wear glasses, when I finally um, wore glasses, I saw everyone wearing glasses. Yeah, so, that's the same way we have a visual impairment. I think Braille is interesting. It gets confusing sometimes because like with the world, I mean, with the union of Braillers and how they change stuff, you know, like year after year after year. But most of the time we have like a constant system that you go by. I mean, it's good. It's, I mean, it's a good usage, you know, but I mostly use it for like literature, not math and, you know, math and science and like that. Um, and I use it also in some very artistic ways, like, because some of the words, um, they make cool design patterns, so, yeah. Um, with literature, like, writing sentences, writing a story, or, you know, like, like, um, with me, like, I'm writing this book, and I write it in three different types. I have a electronic copy, I have a braille copy, and I have a, I mean, I have a regular print copy. That I write by hand, so you know I have all three copies. I mean, so, it's about this boy named James and how he go. He wakes up in the hospital not knowing like who he is or where he comes from, but he has like some memory of like his hates and his likes. And it's about his life trying to get his memory back and find out that he has certain powers and certain friends and certain enemies that he has to face along the way. Um. Well, I'm at seventeen thousand eight hundred and ninety-eight words. Um. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of words, but I mean, it, it was a hard. I mean, it's it's a hard process because I, um, like I let one of my English teachers read it, and she took and she edited it for me, which is so nice of her, and she said that I should get it published. So she's helping me find a publishing company and all. And yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, it's difficult though. I mean, it's difficult just to write a book in general. But I mean, it was just fun because, you know, I just felt, you know, one day I just had a story brewing and I just wrote it down. I like to, I like to read, I, yeah, I do read books. I read books in pleasure, for pleasure. Um, I read mystery books. That's like what my book is about. It's a mystery. Um, I like books with, you know, like a twist in it. And I like reading series because it'll have you constantly reading. It'll, yeah, it'll keep you reading. Sometimes I read in audiobooks. I, don't, I like really don't see any type of like braille books. I mean, like, because like my library in my school, it doesn't like have library books. And maybe I have to get library books. They have to mail them to my house. It's like a long process. And, um, yeah, and and like at my school, they're starting to bring the new cassette tape things that they have at the state library. They try to bring them to my school because they know that they got you know kids in my district that are visually impaired now, and like we're the first three in ten years to actually be in the district. Hmm. So you know it's kind of new for them because you know it's ten years you know no visually impaired people all of a sudden they just pop up out of nowhere. So yeah, it's it's a process, but I don't read really that much. But I, I'm audio and visual. I use my uh, visual aids to read, like print books. I have Compact Plus. I mean, it's broke right now, but it's going to be fixed. Yes, it's going to be fixed, and um, it's like it's it's like a hand it's like a handheld device, almost as big as my hand, um, and I hold it. I hold it. Face first to the um, to it has a camera on it, and the camera shows up on the screen. And there's a button on the side where it can change the contrast, and it's a little switch that you do to change the size, the magnification.
Um, I have a monocular also. Um, that's a distance of vice. It's, it's just like a binocular, it's just one, you know. Um, and then I also have a dome magnifier. I love my dome. Um, it's kind of like the compact, but it's not electronic. Um, and it's a crystal dome, and it has some kind of medicine in it that it, that magnifies the print when it's put on paper. And I have a cane, which is used for mobility. And I have, oh, and I have a bookport plus. I love my bookport plus. And now I finally, I finally started Barb, Bard, which is. It's a program for Braille and audiobooks and downloads, and I love that because it's, it's cool. And I can download it on my Book Club Plus, and it, it's like an audio player, and I use it a lot. Yeah, I use it a lot for school, but now with Bard, I can use it for pleasure also. Those are all my gadgets. <laughs> oh, my favorite, well, I have plenty of memories. Where like when we doing drills and stuff, like she'll tell me like when we doing letter contractions, like we, I mean when we do letter word contractions, like C stands for can and stuff. Like my teacher, she'll say what does can mean, and she doesn't mean to say that. She needs to say like what does C mean, and it's funny how she mixes that up. Yeah, and those are like one of my funniest things. And it was funny how she was teaching me the alphabet because she taught me it. And like my first brother teacher, she taught me in sections. Like she taught me A to J and then K until the end. And then like the way she did it, she mixed up some of the letters. And yeah, that was fun. Because she was like K, A, B, L. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Last summer I got this, I can't think of the name of it. It's like this little small brother. It's like a little plastic thing. I can't think of what it's called. Um, and it's like a little small brother. It's kind of fun. Like I do have friends that Reaper also and both of us have it. So it's kind of fun because like we could be like, you know, they could be like in an assembly or something like that. And we could just be brother just talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of fun. like for example like valedictorians, you know, like valedictorians, they have to make these big speeches, like for graduations and stuff. And like they might not remember all of it because I know they can't think of it on the spot. You know, they write it down. You know, and they have to look down at their paper. You know, just to, like remember the words or something. Well, with you know, bro, you know, you read, you still looking up because I mean, you're using your fingers to read. So I mean, you look, you your heads up all, always. You know, you make it look more sophisticated. So yeah, that's an advantage. I like some of I mean some of the people that I do like my shadow, she wants to learn Burrow. And I do help her like I, I teach her like certain stuff that I know, certain simple stuff like the letter contractions. But I mean no one can like really read read Burrow in my family. It's just me. So I feel like the black sheep of the family. But it's good. Yeah, um, the, like, it was like when the flu went down into my, it, it damaged my optic nerve, and they did a slit inside both of my membranes on both of my sides, so the fluid can drip instead of being, getting built up and stuff, and yeah, it has been working, because like, when it was damaging my optic nerve, it was permanent, so, and yeah, and that helps my optical vision, so, yeah, so, I mean, I mean like, my peripheral vision is better than my, Straightforward vision, so you know I just live with it. Hey, um, and yeah, that's why I became legally blind, and it was all awesome. I mean, oh, it was awesome at first, and I just met some cool kids, and you know, hey, hey, it's not that bad. Business manager, oh yes, because like I, I love business. Like math is my favorite subject, and my aunt did it, and me and my aunt. Had, I want her job because like she she's a purchasing agent and she went to business. She had business management as her undergrad. And I didn't even know that until after I already made that decision. So I mean yeah, we think we think alike, you know. So yeah, I, yeah, I wanna cause I really wanna own my own restaurant. 
So, yeah.